have you seen this this is pretty cool isn't it this is for me anyway because i think this is a win for all of us china factory mandems out there all the rep factory um enthusiasts like myself um all the this what's, what, what's that what's the, what's the subs called designer rep subs and fashion rep subs and all this stuff all those guys that you know are on those reps sub subreddits and are on discord discussing discussing qcs and wanting to get gls on certain things that you've copped that have just dropped at the flipping fulfillment centers or the well, fulfillment centers, the places where they pick and pack your stuff i forgot what they called this is going to be a huge win for us and rep sneakers gang this is courtesy of nice kicks it says stockx removes claims that sneakers are authentic you hear that StockX has removed claims that their sneakers are authentic and as you can see here from the picture if you're not watching I'll describe it to you there's two most of you would know they're very covetable they're very desirable and you know everyone kind of wants them and they're meant to be the litmus test in terms of where the resale market at the moment but bloody blah 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 there's an example of how they'd be listed on StockX and usually underneath the listing of what the product is and the style or whatnot, there'll be a condition tab there. Um, there'll be a little button, sorry, like a condition or whatever it may be. And before it'll be verified authentic, which meant you sent the shoes to StockX and they have their verifiers check the shoes and ascertain whether or not the shoe is authentic by whatever test they have, whether they have a legit pair they can compare it to, whether there's telltale signs on rep pairs that can show them why it's fake in terms of maybe the toe box bending up, the swoosh being too small or too big, loads of little tails they can tell. And that could obviously help them to verify them. But now... Off of the back of, I think, partly the success in quality, no, the, basically the quality, the improved quality overall of rep sneakers. And obviously this ongoing court case that StockX has with Nike, it looks like they're deciding to acquiesce and say, we can't guarantee or confirm um, that all the shoes sold on here are flipping authentic. We just cannot legality wise. And also it's not a way to protect themselves in terms of people putting in fake claims and shit. But I think in general, this is a win for reps in my opinion, but this could be just a Nike thing. Let's read through the article. In the midst of an ongoing legal battle with Nike, StockX has removed the claims from their product page that identifies sneakers as authentic. The resale giant was called out by Nike early this year on their unreliable authentic authentic authentication process nike alleged that stockx 99.95 authentication accuracy rate is a baseless claim and the swoosh even purchased four fake pairs from the consignment platform to prove it <laughs> and the funny thing is is that for the longest time i think what stockx really did in terms of a pr they were able to put it out there that they catch most fakes. And I think they scared a lot of people off by maybe doing some high profile claims cases, whatever it may be called. But what it sounds like to me, especially at the height of the pandemic, loads of people were unemployed, loads of people were out of jobs or out unemployed, loads of people were just at home, not doing anything. And some people basically jumped on reselling as a way to kind of make some extra money, right? While people are doing drop shipping and selling stuff on flipping Amazon and whatnot, other people decided to get into sneakers, especially at the time there were so many shoes coming out, right? The pandemic happened around the world, but the sneaker releases did not stop. I think during that time, there was a real uptick in the amount of shoes that were being sent into stock to be authenticated, whether it's from people who were, you know, looking for extra money and had a collection that they weren't going to wear, especially with a year or two spent in lockdown or living in some level of restriction for the pandemic or it was people making money because they needed to feed their family they probably saw an uptick in the amount of shoes coming through and they couldn't authenticate everything it's just Took, it took just took too much time so over time they probably put their foot off the pedal you know took their eye off it and they let a lot of things through they probably wouldn't have before or the other theory is that they just sold it sold a good you know sold a good game in terms of them being able to authenticate things and catch things made that pr spin but the reality of it was every single day people were making bucket loads of cash selling reps on StockX because the thing that people don't understand about replica game is that for the most part there is a there's different sort of factions of the replica community. There's replica community of people out there who just want to buy really limited edition shoes at the cheapest price possible. So they want to buy a pair of bread Jordan 4s, but they don't ever want to pay close to retail on it, which is what, maybe £180 or something crazy like that. Now, clearly the quality of it isn't going to be great. They may look a bit dodgy. The Jumpman may, you know, may, may look a bit R-worded, but they've got the shoe that they want because they just want the style. They don't care about the authenticity level of it. But there's another side of... Um, of sneaker replica community where they want to have they want to have the limited edition shoe but they never have the ability to maybe get successful purchasing it the authentic way so they'd much rather buy it through the rep factories which is where i kind of lie 
I always, every single release, try to enter sneakers. The last time I won something from sneakers, ironically enough, was the off-white Jordan 1s. Chicago ones from the 10-pack. That's the last time I won anything from Nike sneakers app. I don't win anything ever. So anything that I purchase has to be either resale, has to be either secondhand on eBay, or has to be something from a rep factory. That's the only way I can get hold of stuff. So I'm probably the other part of the replica sneaker community where I'll only buy it if I cannot buy the the the, the real thing, quote unquote. And I think because of that increase of general average everyday people like myself who weren't necessarily big rep fans from before and maybe would have looked down on rep community that's probably seen the uptick in the amount of people buying it and uptick in the amount of people deciding hey you know what there's actually a, a, another thing is also in replica community there's a really high high tier i forgot the name of what they list them as but there's basically a tier that you can purchase jordans for basically the same retail price that you would if you're buying them from nike but they're fake but they're really good and you can't tell that they're fake so people will probably were exploiting that and taking those shoes and flipping them onto StockX and making easy money, hand over fist. And maybe even now it's probably maybe increased the amount of people doing that flip because you could easily take a replica shoe from China that's been bought, that's the, of the highest level and sell them on StockX and make some easy money if you wanted to do so. It's not that difficult to do so. It really, really isn't. So it continues. Since the company's inception, StockX has claimed 100% authentic sneakers on enticing customer service policy. Um, sorry, an enticing customer service policy that allowed the marketplace to growth popularity the authenticity claim changes can already be seen in coveted releases like the up and coming jordan one lost and found early this year the sneaker was listed as verified authentic and condition new now the sneaker has removed the authentication claim and is only condition new which is flipping wild it doesn't help that these two pictures you know the one that says verified authentic looks fake and the one that says condition new looks real but i'm sure it's just the fact that somebody's got like a real pair in their hands and this is probably a product image or something from nike i don't really know um verified authentic 2020 august 27 2022 and no mention of it on november 2022 there changes have also been carried out over StockX's uh help section and it says describes how their process works the StockX stating that we verify when you you we yeah we ver no let me start that again change the StockX help section to so changes um have also carried over to StockX's page that describes how their process works with StockX stating that we verify and when you we verify it is shipped to you rather than claiming authentic um however the verification process to buy his page still claims of um StockX as an authentication center the page also states the exact nature of the verification process carries an item varies by item which slightly tip toes around the marketplace previous authentication process promise i wonder if this might be something to do with the recent layoffs because I know some people got laid off at StockX. I wonder if they've laid off a huge chunk of their authentication team because they don't need them anymore. I wonder if that's a thing. I wonder. Um, it continues here, of course. We've got the spotting it out. It says, um, while this might not, might seem like a major, sorry, minor adjustment. Oh, sorry. It says here, while this might seem like a minor adjustment, these small changes could offer big benefits to StockX as the Nike litigation alleges they can't prove authenticity. By changing their claims on authentic to verify, StockX legal team may also be able to create a semantic loophole that creates a great area for StockX to not only be able to um, to not be liable for their inaccurate authentication process. Nike's case will continue to update the case as it develops. For more information on Nike sneaker news, follow Nice Kicks crazy oh they've responded with an official statement um they said here stockx official statements as follows our comprehensive approach remains unchanged while product authenticity remains core to our analysis our verification process is better reflection of our broader value proposition that we provide customers by review all products sold on stockx ah <laughs> oh, jesus look we look at the range of indicators before sending a product onto the buyer there are a number of reasons why a product may fail to meet our elevated standard of excellence in including incorrect size, missing accessories or damaged box, a manufactured defect or if it shows signs of previous wear. Since our inception, StockX of education has reviewed more than 35 million products and we continue to invest in new technologies to use alongside human inspection and refine our process um, to best serve the customer. I, I applied to work at StockX so many times um, over the years, maybe not maybe not recently, maybe like a few years ago, and it never went anywhere. And it's just funny to see those companies that are so like picky and finicky and, you know, act a bit big timey when they come to the hiring process, be such a mess behind the scenes. 
But, you know, I'm sure there's some good people that know what they're doing there, but God almighty, man, oh, absolute horror show. So I wonder, has this either increased the amount of fakes that have now been sent because they know the flipping guards are low? Or is this now what they need in terms of getting things back to where they need to be in terms of maybe turning it into just what everyone else does, isn't it? Like the depops and stuff. They don't have authentication things. You just list what you want to list on there. I'm not really too sure. Or Because if they do that, then that might take away the need for them to have stock in it. Because the whole reason why stock exists is because you sent the shoes in to get verified, put that badge on and you can buy authentic shoes. But if they don't have that, then why not just have people send the shoes directly from their own homes, isn't it? But I do like the uniformality of the pictures as well, the products. I think that's a really cool feature. You don't really see that too often on those kind of consignment sites. So yeah, let's see how this develops as it continues.